In this video, we're going to go over question 110 from chapter 4, which says a mixture contains only sodium chloride and aluminum sulfate. A, a 1.45 gram sample of the mixture is dissolved in water and an excess of sodium hydroxide is added, producing a precipitate of aluminum hydroxide. The precipitate is filtered, dried, and weighed. The mass of the precipitate is 0.107 grams. What is the mass percent of aluminum sulfate in the sample? Okay, so we're told um, that we have a mixture of NaCl and Al2SO43, aluminum sulfate, and we're adding excess sodium hydroxide to it. So what products can we form from that? Well, our sodium hydroxide plus our sodium chloride would just give us back sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride, but our sodium hydroxide plus our aluminum sulfate would give us sodium sulfate and aluminum hydroxide. So let's write out that reaction. So we have Al2SO4-3 plus sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and that's going to form um, sodium sulfate. Remember sulfate, this ion has a minus two charge overall, so we need two sodium um, cations in order to counter that. So we have Na2SO4. And then we have our aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3. Um, so how can we balance this? Well, to start out with, um, I know that I have three sulfates here and I need three in my products. Um, so I'm gonna put a coefficient of three in front of the Na2SO4. When I do that though, that changes the number of sodium atoms I have. Um, so now I have six in my products and just one in my reactant. So I'm gonna put a coefficient of six in front of sodium hydroxide um, which now gives me six hydroxide ions. I only have three over here, so this gets a coefficient of two, which works out perfectly because now I have the same number of aluminum atoms in my reactants and products. So this is the, um, this is the balanced chemical reaction um, for, for this precipitation reaction. Um, so now we know that our... Um, our aluminum sulfate and our aluminum hydroxide are a one to two ratio. That's their stoichiometric ratio. Um, so we're told we have, um, we form one point, we form 0 0.107 grams of our precipitate. Um, and we know that's our aluminum hydroxide. Um, that's gonna be our precipitate. So why don't we calculate how many moles of aluminum hydroxide we form in our precipitate? Um, so the number of moles of um, aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3, is equal to our 0 0.107 grams divided by the molar mass of aluminum hydroxide, which is 78 grams per mole. And that gives us 0.001372 moles. And since we know um, that for every one mole of aluminum sulfate that we use up, we form two moles of aluminum hydroxide, we can calculate how many moles of aluminum sulfate we had in the mixture originally. Um, so then the number of moles of Al2SO43 is equal to the 0 0.001372 two moles um, times one mole of aluminum sulfate for every two moles of aluminum hydroxide. Um, so that gives me 0 0.00 06859 moles. So that's how many moles of aluminum sulfate I had in, in my mixture originally. Um, so what mass is that contributing to the mixture? So that would be 0 0.00068 six moles 
Um, and then we just multiply by the molar mass, which is 342.15 grams per mole for aluminum sulfate. Um, so that gives us 0 0.2347 grams. And now all that's left to do is to calculate the percent mass. So the percent mass is going to be equal to the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution um, times 100%. Mass of the solute, in this case our solute is our aluminum sulfate, so that's 0 0.2 three, four, seven grams, and our solution is our complete mixture of 1.45 grams times 100%, which gives us 16.2%.